Hello my genius friends, my name is Sashant. Welcome to another exciting session of geometry. If you take the time to observe your surroundings, you would be able to see a lot of things related to geometry around you in your daily life, such as buildings, houses, huts, books, etc. So how are they related to geometry? But before that, let us first learn the meaning of geometry. The word geometry is derived from a Greek word called geos meaning earth and metron meaning measure. In ancient times, geometry was used in astronomy, surveying, navigation and building of structures. So that's why I said that buildings, houses are related to geometry. In geometry, we study angles, triangles, perimeter, area, volume, etc. which are the basic concepts which we will recall in this class. Let's start. Look at the screen. It seems like Maddy and his classmate Madhu are going to school. Just like us, they too are planning to revise basic concepts of geometry. Why don't we join them and do this together? Hey, can you see anything here? This is a dot, right? In geometry, a dot is called a point. And usually, this point is identified with a number or letter such as 1 or A. Point does not have length, breadth or thickness. Now, can you see the points A and B here? Let us join these two points using a line. Now this line has length, not width, nor height, right? The line can extend forever in two directions and to show this, we put arrows on either side. When the line extends in only one direction, it is called a ray, which is depicted by one arrow on one side. When the line connects two endpoints, then this is called a line segment which is a part of a line and it has no arrows. In other words, a line segment does not go on endlessly. This is the difference between a line and a line segment. Okay? Now, how do we represent a line? We can write this as... And now you know how to represent as well as what is the difference between a line, a ray and a line segment. Now, let us focus on learning about the midpoint. A midpoint is that point of a line segment which divides it into two equal parts. So, the midpoint of the line segment AB is at M. Now, the points A, M, B all lie on the same line, correct? Such points are called collinear points. Look at this figure. So, which points are not collinear? Yes, A, C and B and A, E, B are not collinear. Take a look at these figures. You can see that the curved lines do not intersect again at the starting point in few figures, whereas in some, the curved lines intersect, forming a closed shape. The figures which do not have intersecting curved lines are called open figures, and the others that intersect and form a shape are called closed figures. Now, shall we arrange the open and closed figures? We have seen uh, several closed figures here. Can you name some of them? Yes, triangle, rectangle, cube, circle, etc. Aren't these some closed figures that we also see in real life? Now, look at this closed figure. Did you observe some points inside and outside the figure? 
Any idea as to what we call them? No? Don't worry, I'll tell you. The ones that lie inside are called the interior of the closed curve. And the ones that lie outside are at the exterior of the closed curve. Isn't that easy to remember?